Welcome back to Eternal Sonata. Yay. We're gonna be here a while. Uh, Tech is still playing to get the hang of uh, blocking and whatnot in the controls. It's another save point for us. As I recall, this is the sort of game where every time you get to a save point, it restores all your shit. Mm, so, I like, like your health is good and, and all that. Nice. Uh, yeah, again, as a reminder for anyone somehow joining us here, perhaps hoping to skip some of those cutscenes from the first episode. Yes, right. Uh, the, we were playing the PS3 version of this game, which has a bunch of extra crap in it, which <coughs> I'm really excited for. Uh, however, I've only ever played the 360 version, which I know pretty well, but there are still going to be some surprises in store for both of us. Apparently, chicken defaults to wall. Uh, yes, obviously. Chicken is very uh, difficult to get past. Can I interact with these people? Yeah, you can press X and talk to them, do I, I believe. Do I want to? There's some points in the game where you do... Oh my, welcome back to the city, Poker. You don't look very good. Maybe because you're sick with the magic. Alright, useless stuff. Uh, like, there, there will be some, like, vaguely side questy stuff, but I don't think we're there yet. Also, you can find, like, items in weird places and stuff like that. You know, fairly typical for JRPGs. Sure, sure. Do I want to go in the houses? What am I doing? What is my objective here? Uh, I think you want to go back to your house? I forget which one house? is your house. This one looks like a house. Residence. Ooh. Let's see if I finish cleaning. Maybe I'll get to take a look at Lowfield. All right. I have water and flowers. What a peaceful world this is. Don't you just want to live here, Tech? It's pretty idyllic. Don't you perhaps want to live in Retardando? No, I do not want to live in Retardando. Are you sure that you this don't This is Tenudo, though, right? This is Tenudo Village, yes. I wonder what Tenudo means. All right, let's try this one. Is this our house? Mm, yes. 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 Looks yummy. I like the adorable flower, like, pot or whatever. Mm-hmm. So, when one has terminal illness, mm -hmm. there are no negative effects upon one's health aside from the fact that you I mean, will... like, you're gonna die. But that's it. Yeah, and everyone hates you because this world's, like, super superstitious. So it's like... You... Super superstitious. You die early, but get superpowers. This is essentially yeah. all that happens. I, I'm fine with this trade, I'll be honest. <laughs> oh, I'm sad now. Because I have superpowers. It's one of the weirder things about the world when you, when you like, deconstruct it like that. But it's very much like that. Mom, do you... Are you afraid to touch me? Yes! Ugh, God! You're so gross! You used your magic in Retardando, didn't you? Why does everyone avoid me? Because they think they'll get sick if they touch you. Even though it's not true. They are afraid of pedophile legislation. Yeah, <laughs> it'd be funny if that was really it. It's like, they've really been cracking down on pedophiles lately, honey, so no one's really touching any children just to be on the safe side. Which is probably for the best, let's be honest. Yeah. I'm not afraid of dying from the illness, Mom. It's just, well, I'm just sad that no matter what I do, I can't make any friends. Well, if you didn't use magic around people... Yeah, I mean, like, okay. there's the argument that she's like a kid and doesn't know better, but I feel like she's old enough, and it's sort of implied she's had this condition long enough to know that if she uses magic, people are going to know what's up, and they're going to think she's scary. The designers of this game clearly don't understand what an illness is. Like, something that makes you die slightly early isn't really I mean, an like, illness. I mean, like, like, I think there's, like, minor other things. I think, like, God. there's, like, a sort of, like, fatigue with it where at certain points she'll just sort of be like, Ugh. She just, like... And, like, she has, like, a cough at times. Yeah, right. She just has, like, a, a cough at, like, yeah. convenient times for the plot. Yeah, basically. It's it's like that, yeah. It's those brats again. Maybe I should poison the dough next time. How would that help? Then you're just killing your own customers despite the people who are stealing from yeah, you. Yeah, that's an extreme solution to that. Also, apparently, back in the day, yeah, in the seventeen and eighteen hundreds, um, bread bread legisla le legislation was very strict, uh, because like bread was like ninety percent of people's diets. Yeah. So like, if a bread maker was caught like was one, right? doing anything to bread to nah, like thin it easy. out or do anything, they were immediately thrown in jail for like the rest of their lives. Huh. Jeez, yeah. That's interesting. You mm -hmm. call easy. I'd hate to see you hard. This, that's where the term I'd grind their bones to make my bread came from. Don't worry. So the people idea is using that people that putting bone meal in sure bread. Yeah. Getting hungry. I, th I thought I remembered hearing something along those lines. Yeah. So we're now being introduced to uh, Allegretto and Beat. Allegretto's the one with the wing on his shoulder, and Beat is the small boy who looks like a girl. Right. Here's the thing I don't understand. 
you know, Japan always has these crazy characters with crazy fucking outfits and crazy hair. Yeah. Why is it that no one dresses like them? You never see pictures of, like, Japanese street covered with people with wearing really ridiculous clothing. I feel like if they love it so much, why not just wear it? I think it's actually, like, an extension of, like... Japan has a very conservative culture overall, mm -hmm. but like things like anime are like, uh, like a like a fan like a fantasy outlet for them. It's like mm. they they want to be this thing, but like culture doesn't allow it. Weird. I think it's that sort of thing where it's like they all want to dress like that, but like you know in their society it would be really weird and people right. would make fun of them and not right. respect them and stuff. And that's really important. Do I care about what the fuck is going on right now? Uh, it's just a backstory on these two guys. They they're sort of like a sort of like an Oliver Twist Artful Dodger thing yeah, going on yeah. where like they, they steal uh, food to like feed the, the orphan children of this village okay what's down here I think this is where we're going it's the sewers oh of course because I think our lair is in the sewers somewhere our lair I like that we have a lair we sort of have a lair I mean you and I have a lair That's no true. girls allowed <laughs> the professor doesn't know about it <laughs> don't tell her she might watch this no she She's never, of all the things she's gonna she's watch, she's gonna, gonna, gonna watch, watch this. this. No, actually, of all the things she's gonna watch, she's gonna only gonna watch the stuff that she's actually in, which I find kind of funny. It makes a certain amount of sense to me, but when you when you think about it too hard, it's a little silly. It's like you were there for this. <laughs> yeah, none of this is news. It was a very strange sensation when we first started posting these videos, and I would watch them back to tag them, and it was sort of like, I was here for that. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> the one thing I will say that this has helped with is I've certainly gotten used to my own voice. Yes, me too. I, it's a really interesting fact about it. Um, Let's fight this mouse. Let's do it. So now we have two characters to fight with. Yay. Let's take care of these guys. Let's do it. Riddle, can you tell me what it is we have to do to fight again? We've done this already. What? Wait a minute. I thought I. I think you there's like slightly more to this Did simply you because you now have already? Beat, who has a ranged weapon that works differently. Oh. All right. You could okay, probably fine, skip it. But I'm not explaining it's fine. The basics again. Okay, good. Yeah, I think it's just adding on top of it some new stuff. Yeah, uh, item selection is pretty straightforward. First off, how to use items. Okay. Press the L1 and R1 buttons to rotate through the items you've got equipped until you find what you want to use. Okay. Then you just have to press the item button. That is so whichever the big one is on the bars, yeah, no, you got it. it right? And then it just duplicates? Why does it just say floral powder over and over again? Because you have three floral powders equipped. Oh. Next, I'll show you how to use special. Like attacks. you do, you have like a limited capacity for your like battle pouch or whatever. Like the concept. So can is. I only have one floral powder at once? So you can use them as in a per slot. Anyway. Uh, I forget exactly how it works. Stack. I think it's like no, they don't stack. Each one takes up like a certain amount of space or something. So yeah, now it's telling you about special attacks, which we've already sort of gone over. Right. Just move in close to the enemy and use your special attack. You'll finish him off in no time with an attack like that. Now, Allegretto is a pretty straightforward character. He's got a sword. He does a lot of swordsmanship stuff. Uh, Beat has like a hammer gun, which if you're close, he'll smash them with the hammer. If you're far away, then you'll do like a ranged shooting attack, which can actually build up attacks pretty quickly. All right. Teach you something super important about special attacks. Okay. Remember this. Of course. Good look at what you see around us, Beat. Even though we're inside a sewer, there are some places that are light and some places that are dark. Right. You see, the thing sure. with special attacks is, depending on whether the place where you're standing is in the light or in the dark... Oh, right, I remember you doing this. Yeah, each character has two sets of special what? attacks. Uh, some that only trigger in light and some that only trigger in darkness. And, like, you, as you get more of them, you can, like, set certain ones to be, like, your standards and stuff. Uh. Forget exactly the details of how that works, but we'll figure it out when we get there. Come on. Let's go, beat. Go, fight, win! I can't move the camera around. How do I see where the enemies are? Uh, I think you can press and right stick or something? R2? Which is it? One uh, of them... Uh, left, uh, it's left L2? trigger. L2? L2, sure, whatever you want to call it. Usually the camera's a little more forgiving than that. <laughs> Sun Slash! Gotcha, biatch! Good, yeah, Sun Slash huh? is pretty good. Mm-hmm. I love, like, all that tutorial for, like, fighting that one mouse. Uh, Alright, we'll just do one more. Okay. Bring it! I think this one will show us yeah, yeah, multiple see, more enemies. Take all day. This time, Beat will have a chance to show off what he can do a little bit. So, like, yeah, right, got Your end is near. And, like, the special attacks usually have some sort of, like, defining pattern to them. Mm -hmm. So, for example, if you had been, like, standing on the 
the side closest to the screen of that rat facing the other one when you did uh, Shadow Slide, like you'd be able to send like a wave of attack in its uh, direction. So like there's strategy to that type of thing too. Okay. Like it's it, there's actually kind of a nuance to the combat system despite the fact that it's pretty straightforward. So can I attack the guy from here? Yes, you can because you have a gun. So you can just press X, just mash X, and you'll keep shooting him. But not triangle apparently. Uh, you might not be in range of it. I forget what his starting special attack is exactly. Hmm, interesting. <laughs> I love the goofy enemies that do stuff like that. Some of them will show up even later in the game as well. If I do this. Yeah. Uh, I guess you're slightly out of range of it, but you get the idea. I do, yes. Yeah, and see, so when, when you're close up, he uses his melee weapon, but then still sometimes shoots them for some reason. I can't use, I can't use the, uh... Vivid Shot might be the camera move that he has, which is super goddamn terrible. Okay. One of his special attacks is that you can, like, take pictures of enemies, and you can, like, sell them at stores. Why but would it's just I want the, that? You don't. It's stupid and terrible. Okay, what then. Did you Got it. What did you expect? His sword's kind of cool. Yeah. I, I really like the... Just like the weapon design in this game. Just wait till we meet Jazz mm. with his like tuba sword. <laughs> I love that stupid thing. All right, welcome back. So we had a brief discussion off camera about handling battles, and we think for the moment we're actually going to be leaving them all in because it does. So it does. Don't a big part of this game's flow is that you like you see the enemies coming up on the path and and stuff like that and. Oops. I think it all sort of works together to, to add to the feel of the game. So we're, we're going to see how that works for a little while. Well, not to mention the fact that, like, you know, we will be learning as we play this game. And we want to get give people the option to see how we improve our battle skills. And... It's true. And the, 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 the style of fighting will change over time. Gotcha, bitch. Well played. It's Healing. Great. It's great that they're right next to each other, because this game actually acknowledges physics in that sense. Crazy. Like, look at that. You're attacking both of them. Yeah, that's really sweet. How many games actually let you do that? Like zero. Like this one. <laughs> All right. Good, huh? All right, I'm liking the combat system. It's, yeah, I mean, it's... Despite however you feel about the, the dumb aspects of the story, I think it has a really solid core to the gameplay, and that's what really sold me on the game. Like, I mean, I got interested in the game because of the absolutely hysterically stupid story. No, it's pretty stupid. I just love stuff like that. I think there's a chest on this walkway closer I've, to the screen. Yeah, I figured there would be. You're really gonna get it. This time there's three rats. Are oh, you a bad enough dude to kill all the rats? Oh, I got this shit. Don't you worry. I think it will actually also be interesting because I feel like once we have, like, a, a larger... Uh, subset of the, the characters in this game because there's actually a fair number of them, especially in the PS3 uh, version has uh -huh. some extra characters to it. Uh -huh. I feel like the two of us will probably develop like different like teams and strategies. Maybe, yeah. I mean, for example, you're probably going to want to play with Salsa all the time. Yeah, probably. That little girl. Yeah, That totally. really horrible little girl that no one could possibly like. And her twin sister. Ooh. Legit, her twin sister is also a playable character. That's what I want. Go away. <laughs> That's what I want. Like, 12 year old twin girl action. Ugh. <laughs> you heard it here first, guys. <laughs> My impression is that's what you were saying. If anyone's curious why uh, why Vasco is in jail later, now we know. No one will be curious about that. It'll be pretty clear. <laughs> We've leveled up for the first time. Sweet. And our stats got a relatively huge boost considering. All right. Now I'm more powerful. <laughs> oh, beat. Oh, God. He's so annoying already. Is he the <laughs> annoying character? Because there's always one. Uh, I, I personally think it's Salsa, but Beat is a close contender. Really? No? Oh, wait. There was a exclamation point or something there. I'm I sorry, what? Go close to the wall again. The right wall. The right wall. And, like, walk slightly up. There, Like, a little bubble popped up, and I think that means, like, investigate. Go up. For, go, like, against. Yeah. Oh. Oh, it's like a poster that we're looking at. Never seen a rat like that before. I wonder if he could get the reward. Oh, God. There's going to be, like, a bad enemy, isn't there? Yeah. What's the point of this? I'm, I thought there was a point to this. I'm confused. Did they change this? I don't know. Just go forward. I can't. All right. Uh... There's nowhere else to go. Do I, like, jump on this rock? Like... No. I'm totally... There's some trick to this. How are we stuck already? 
forget exactly how to... I think there's something we're supposed to enter. Can you... You can't walk through those, like, stones up there, I assume? What stones? Over by that door that's, like, blocked? I mean, maybe there's, like, a thing I need to do, but... No, it doesn't even give me Is a Is it prompt. also closed? Hmm. There's some way across this. I don't remember what it is. I remember this actually giving me trouble the first time I played. But I thought I would remember it. You cross here and... There may be, like, a thing you have to activate. Ooh. Oh. Okay, there's a chest down here or something. Definitely. I'm starting to remember this. I remember that I got stuck there for a really long time because they show you that save point and made me think I had to cross there, but there's another room here that I forgot about. Ah, now you're in the dark, you have Rapid Shooter. That's definitely an actual attack. Alright. Rapid Shooter's an attack I was using late into the game. One of the cool things about the special attacks, too, is that because it's not based on, like, a scaling MP system, mm -hmm. um, they sort of just scale with your character's power, so it's not like a, a, an attack that you like early on becomes right. useless later. Right, right, right. Angel Trumpets are really good. They're like Phoenix Downs from Final Fantasy. Got it. Everything. Got it. So go through this door. Go this this is where we're going. Yes. I forgot about this. It's kind of confusing, in fairness. Uh... Bring it on, Mr. Rat. This time you should use the Rapid Shooter and show that off when it's Beat's turn. You can, just so you know, skip one character's turn to go to another. I don't think we actually have use for that now. But I don't get the other... I don't get to go back to the other guy. Allegedly, uh, their next turn will come around more quickly if you do that. So, for example... For example, if you have, like, a character with a healing move like Polka, uh -huh. and, like, you really want to heal one of your characters right away, you can, like, skip one character's turn, do the healer's turn, and then, like, allegedly the character's turn you skip will come around more quickly than it would otherwise. Got it. It's not a feature I used very much, but it's a thing to keep in mind. I missed a little bit, you guys. It's fine. Didn't block that time. Die, please. <laughs> he had Thank one you. hit left in him. All right. <laughs> Die, please. <laughs> <laughs> now, can I heal out of battle? Uh, to my regulation, you can. You just, like, go into the triangle. Uh, at this point, I'm going to say no. Okay. There's probably a uh, save point close enough that we're not going to get... Like, the rats yeah. aren't that tough of enemies. Got They're going to do a little bit of damage over time, but I think we're going to be okay. All right. Seems good. Alright. Sometimes that just happens where you're like, you know, you, you get in the habit of like doing that at the end of your move and then like you kill him in the second to last hit and then you're standing there like, Sun Slash! <laughs> yeah. So how close to the end can I get before I'm... Is it hard to... If you like really push it to the end? Have you it's, ever had that experience? You're like, oh, come on, I pressed it. I mean, I'm sure I've had that experience. I remember it being relatively forgiving. Just so long as you like have it in mind. Right. Let's try it. Yeah, right, that, that works. All right. So like, can you sort of do it even like if, as long as you're like still in the middle of an attack animation? Yeah, I think yeah. it still counts it. Yeah, I think so. I think that's how it works. I'm getting points like a motherfucker. He is doing. It. Have you ever seen a motherfucker get points? It's exactly like this. Just like this. So should I have gone the other way? Uh, I think this is like a dead end with just some treasure and stuff in it. Right, so I think we do this first. That's what we want. What was that? It was like a poison something. It's like a poison item. Okay. They used to poison enemies. Uh, interesting fact is that I never really use those, mm -hmm. especially against bosses, because I, I'm just of the minds, I've played enough JRPGs that, like, my sense is, like, you know, all the bosses are gonna be immune to everything that you do. Right. Um, but, when I was, like, looking over stuff about this game, there's a, a lot of recommendations that you use, specifically poison items, on specifically boss enemies. Right. So, maybe we'll try that out at some point, I don't know. The items will be slightly more useful in this game than in Raffle. They, they will be more useful in this game than Raffle. <laughs> the degree to which they're useful, I think, may depend on your playstyle. The way I play most RPG games, not a lot more useful, but there are definitely situations where they're important. One of the things I like about the action gauge is that it's, like, intelligent. So, like, 
if you're just standing there, like, scratching your nose or something when your turn starts, it doesn't start ticking down the time. Okay. Like, it waits until you start moving, which yeah. I think Polka actually said, but, like, it's easy to miss a little detail no, yeah, like no, that. that's nice. And I think, I might be remembering this wrong, but I think it's even, like, you know, when you're, like, moving on your turn and you stop, I think the action gauge also stops. Yeah, it does. Yeah. So, like, it, it, like, really gives you that amount of time to actually be doing things right. on your turn. So, like, I could move over and then be like, oh, what do I want to do now? Rather yeah. than having to make all the decisions before I like, press any buttons. So it's like I said, like a lot of the just the, the basic stuff in this game is really well made, yeah. actually. Yeah. The story you, is another animal. When you level up, do you gain all your health back? I forget. Ah, uh, yes, this is the thing we're looking for. A switch, give it a push. All right, all right, actually, go into, go into the triangle menu and we'll check on their health and see what happens. It does not does replenish. does not replenish. It gets bigger, but it does not replenish. Yes. Bring it on, Raddy Rat McRatterson. Radita, Radicate, Badoof. No, wait, that's different. <laughs> do, 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 do. So, how much are you loving this one song? Is this the only song that we ever get? Uh, I believe bosses have different music. But that's but it. But yeah, I think that's it. Oh my god. How do I, I mean, choose again, who to attack with this move? Um. That's not the person I intended to attack. I don't recall off the top of my head. Uh, it might have something to do with, like, left or right, s no, left stick is skip turn. It might be, like, right stick or, like, or, like, R2 or something. Hmm. It might be R2. D2? Could be, for all I know. Alright. I got a box. What's in the box? You got a peach cookie. What are, what are those It's a healing are? item. I figured, alright. I don't remember what all of the items do, because not all of them are ones I used regularly, right. but I think I know most of them, or could at least give an educated guess on them. Hey, it's me! Aw, that's funny. <laughs> yeah. Sort of wanted for stealing bread from the poisonous bread baker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then this will lead us back to the path we were on before. Right, right, right. You're really gonna get it! So let's try switching target here. Try, what? like, R2... Well, hold on. Oh, yeah, I mean, I guess it only applies to the ranged character, right? I do remember, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I do remember having some difficulty getting the uh, ranged attack to necessarily target something. I think you kind of have to just, like, line yourself up in such a way. And this time you're shooting the far away one, even though that's maybe not what I would expect from there. Weird. We'll get used to it, I'm sure. God damn it. You really, you kind of, as a general rule of thumb, you kind of want to be making out with whatever you're trying to kill. Yeah, yeah, I see that. You kind of just want to, like, match up against the creature you're hitting. Alright. That was a piece of cake. It was a piece of cake. Mmm. So this way, so, yeah. I guess, huh? It's funny to me how much of this game you've actually blacked out. Because, <laughs> like, I know that, like, you didn't like this game, obviously. I mean, I didn't watch a lot of it, to be honest. I, I, I thought you watched. I, I thought part of the problem is that Nick played so much of it that you were just sick of looking at it. I mean, it was a, it was around all the time, and I made myself scarce when. That's true. Was you did do that after not and very like, long. There was there were definitely some times where I would sit on the couch while he was playing it. but yeah. I buried my nose in my computer real hard <laughs> so that that would not be a problem for me. But I mean, I also remember like some of these things, like the the one song. I remember you used to say like, "Oh, good, it's that one song." Oh, yeah, it was like yeah, it was right. like one of yeah. your like catchphrases about so like long. us playing this game. Oh God! <laughs> Look at that guy. You're after the bread. Oh my god. You gotta love this. You like sneak into your like underground like sewer house and you see like the world's giantest so, flying squirrel and you've got this stolen bread and your first thought is We're not gonna let you have the bread you're after, giant flying squirrel. Leave my elevator alone. Uh, this is like a, a, a fantasy realm based on a French composer from the... When was he around? Like the 1700s? Oh, uh, that's at 1849. Really? 18? Yeah. Okay. So I don't think there's elevators quite yet. I think the elevators were invented in the 18-somethings. In the 18-somethings? But they weren't in, uh, in wide use. And I don't think they exist in the same world as mineral powder. Aha! Well met, sir. Ow, ow. That's like his special move. You usually can't block those. Sometimes you can. You really just want to be on the lookout for... You know, like, if you hear the guard noise, you want to be on it. Yeah. But, like, you just sort of need to anticipate it as well, as we've already been over. Oh, 
Nice. Aha! 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 See you getting the hang of this? Go away, no one likes you. That was nice. Well played. Thank you. I was hoping that he would do that. Yeah. Uh, I guess it's my uh, Excellent, again. you want to be in his shadow so that you'll be able to do rapid yeah, shooter. Yeah, yeah. See, that's the sort of thing you have to think about in this game. It's like sometimes, like, you know, you want to get up on the enemy and sometimes you want to try and attack from behind so they can't block, but then sometimes you won't have the desired special attack if you do it that way and you want to stand in their shadow instead. Right, right, right. Sunsplash more powerful than the other one? Yes. Phantom Wave. Yeah. So the only time I really want to be in, in, the, in the shade with him is if I'm trying to hit multiple enemies. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. What does this do? Oh. This is fine. If he spends most of his turn healing, you'll wear him down. You may want to use a Floral Powder on Beat, though. Yeah. Because he's been, like, that. ganging up on Beat and doing all of his damage to him. This is the sort of uh, RPG where, like, by the end of the game, we'll be doing, like, preposterously large numbers of damage right. to enemies. Right, right, right. There you go, you've I beaten really, the first I boss. I really like that, that using a heal thing doesn't use up your... Yeah, uh, it stops the timer. You can still attack. That's really awesome. Like, this this game is... Oh, you got a new skill, Sky Divider. All right. Does he get a new one? Fire blast. Fire blast. I think that's a light attack, so now you'll have one on each. All right. So we'll have to figure out how to set that. Yes, we will. Thank you so much. So here's the retardando orphanarium. Oh my god, she's adorable. She took all of the bread. They're just like Aladdin. <laughs> Beat is the monkey. <laughs> I was gonna say, where's the monkey? <laughs> Beat is the monkey. Beat is the monkey. He's even got the hat. Yep. We wouldn't have to steal it for people. Do you All right. Think the baker lady is just being greedy. I mean, if she's cutting out customers, no. like if she could get it's more customers for slightly cheaper fault. bread, then huh? she's probably she's a poor businessman. Yeah, is what she is. The reason the bread is so expensive is the high taxes on it. <laughs> what is happening? There's a couple of these shots so far. It's just like a really long, lingering reaction that's unnecessary. The high tax. I, I think that was supposed to be a Phoenix Wright moment. Yeah. The high taxes! And then there should have been like a, a flash and like a weird sound effect and yeah. then like murmuring from people watching the trial. Yeah, the only thing that's not taxed is mineral powder. Ah, mineral powder. There's that thing again. Mm. Oh, I see. So that's why anybody can get it. Because it's so cheap. I guess the Count of Forte isn't really that bad after all. I mean, at least he keeps the tax on medicine. Zoom! Clearly the middle and powder is not all it's cracked up to be. Nope. I wonder how I figured that out. <laughs> this game is so subtle, I'm surprised you picked up on it that quickly. Don't get cocky. Don't get penisy, kid. He's not named that because of the musical reference, you guys. He was beat as a child. It's really sad. I don't know why they gave him that nickname. It's really inappropriate. Well, there was a kid who looked very similar to him, and people used to get them confused, but they didn't want to be, like, saying insensitive things around mm. him, so they started calling him beat so people would know. Mm, gotcha. Because that's not insensitive. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> I love her name is Polka. The like least enjoyable <laughs> music ever. I disagree with that. You like polka music? No, I don't think it's the least uh, pleasant though. No, oh, okay. I appreciate opera as an art form, but I do not find it recreationally enjoyable. Really, I like opera. I, I don't like. I, I think our opera is certainly more enjoyable than polka, or say. I I, I definitely enjoy polka more than opera. Really? Like I don't completely dislike polka. It's just like not an everyday type of music. How about speed metal? Eh, okay, metal is a, a kind I don't like a lot, but even metal I think I like on the whole more than... Well, no, not metal, speed metal. I don't really know specific... Literally, it's just like, an example double of like bass a... as fast as possible, with a dude just going... So you mean like your band? Are you asking me if I like your band? Yeah, do you? No. What do you think? No. But it's mostly because your vocals are terrible. Oh. But your speed double bass, because it's a one man band. It's really impressive. Thanks. Picture of who? Are you still messing around with that stuff? You need to look at things with your own two eyes. 
You'd see things a whole lot clearer if you weren't always looking at them through bent glass. Hey, that's my fucking profession, asshole. Fuck this game. You <laughs> like flip the table. It isn't called bent glass, you noob. Oh my god. God, it's like you don't care about it at all. <laughs> yeah, I guess it is kind of like that. Still. No wonder they're so hungry. That's not how you eat. I guess she won't be able <laughs> to put the food in your mouth. <laughs> hey, you just sort of put it in front of it and make chewing motions. <laughs> Know anything? I'm pretty sure the girl he was talking about, by the way, I think he got a picture of Polka when she was in town before. Some kind of incurable so I was? I, I think he took a picture of Polka when she was using her uh, magic or something. Gotcha. And it's always fatal? That's right. Yeah. Only people who are gonna die soon are able to use magic like that. Such a oh, weird thing. It's a very bizarre conceit of this game. Well, I guess being able to use magic isn't that great after all. Disagree! No, it's not. You can't use magic powers unless you're really sick. This world's pretty messed up. <laughs> what? <laughs> Actually, honestly, if there were, if I had a choice between living in a world where illness just makes you like decrepit and really in pain and then you die, or illness like doesn't do anything to you aside from give you magic powers and then you die, I'd much rather live in the world where all you do is get magic powers. And I would much rather live in this world. I'm just saying. This world is pretty messed up. People got magic powers instead well, of dying. Okay, here's the thing, though. He doesn't have the frame of reference that illness should make you horribly ill and then you die. Yeah. He's just like, man, everyone should be able to use magic. I won't be able to use magic, but I don't want to die. As long as they have food on their table, they don't care if other people out there are starving. You're right, this game is just full of social commentary. Yep. That, like, does absolutely nothing. Yeah, that It's, like, 80 to 95% of, like, all the cutscenes of the game are like this. Oh, my God. Like, the story... The story is clearly okay. meant to be some commentary I mean, on the human condition. The right. But what? it's in, instead, like, several commentaries on the vast array of the human condition. <laughs> it's like a hundred robot Abe Lincolns that think that they're, uh... Really, Abe Lincoln. Oh, now it's time for the credits. What? It's cr it's credits time. The game has started. That was the cold open. <laughs> that was the cold open? <laughs> that was the cold open. Good lord. Alright, that was the cold open. <laughs> an hour into the game. Yep. A pro not, almost exactly an hour into the not game. Bode well. Are the credits long? Should we call it an episode and join uh, after? Perhaps. We should probably cut somewhere around here, because this episode's already running a little long. Yeah, can I pause the credits, or will I skip them if I press A? Or start, rather. I think if you press start, it will just go gray. Yeah. Oh, look at that. All right, join us next time for the credits, I guess. <laughs> uh, I hope you're looking forward to that. See you then.